Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Hacker YouTube channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so more people can discover it. So Discord entered a race to compete with Clubhouse along with Twitter, along with LinkedIn, Facebook, all other apps. And now you can create something which is called stage channel. So in this video, I show exactly how to do it. In short, you need to create your own server. You need to transform it to community server. And then you can create a stage channel, which is basically a real time voice communication and super similar to Clubhouse, where you can just have some audio speakers and audio listeners and all of that. Uh, so currently it's only audio. There is no video, no screen sharing there, but it's super fun. And the design is super nice, super minimalistic. Uh, so definitely try it out. It works on browser, desktop, iOS, Android, I think as well. So I just dive in this quick video how to do it all. So this is how you can do it on Mac OS app. Later I will show you how to do it on uh, iOS iPhone. So first you need to create your own server and then uh, so state channel features only work for community. So here on the sidebar you will see like a community tab. So you need first to convert your server to community. So just go here tap on community and follow the instructions and then you will be able to convert your channel to community. So that's that. And only after if you did that, so it's a free feature, you don't need to pay for that anything. So then when you click here, you'll have the option to create a stage channel. And this is like a voice channel for hosting uh, events with an audience. So this is kind of like a Discord response to Clubhouse or to Twitter spaces, uh, basically real-time audio experience. Something like that. And then uh, you can just add individual members by starting with add or type a role name. Uh, or you can just skip that. And there you have it. Now it will appear as a stage here, as a stage channel. Uh, so now you have something like welcome to stages. Uh, your microphone will be muted. Unless you are invited to speak, you can uh, leave and rejoin anytime. Request speak to join the conversation. And then stage topic. And then you can just open the stage. And there you have it. So now you have this uh, stage and you can see how many uh, people are speaking here. You can mute yourself like this and then you will see this icon that you are muted. Uh, you can see like uh, requests. Uh, you can exit quietly. Request means that some other people want to join you on the stage. Uh, uh, so stage are the people who are speaking and audience are people who are listening. Uh, you can move other people to the audience just like here in the bottom. And you can invite other people, uh, other, uh, uh, yeah, other users to this stage server. So something like that. Uh, and of course, if you are starter, you are the stage moderator and that's that. And then you can just, yeah, you see how many listeners here. Uh, and then, yeah, you can edit this channel and then you can also exit. So that's basically, that's an overview of this new stage channel feature, which is basically a clubhouse in Discord. So super easy. So right now let's see how it works on mobile. So here you have a Discord app on iPhone and the process is quite similar. So you just go to your servers and you can create a stage channel just from here, create a channel and just create a stage channel. And then when you have it, so here uh, it is. Uh, 
and then you can just open the stage. So this is how it works like on mobile. Can you can mute yourself? So by default, I think you should be muted. Uh, uh, so something like that, and then yeah, so you can invite people, share a link, you can uh, see some settings, uh, input mode, you can see noise suppression, uh, all of that. Uh, um, yeah, you can then set up like speakers and yeah, you can leave exit quietly. So something like that. So that's how it works on mobile. Uh, so you can also add uh, or remove stage moderators. Uh, you'll need to have managed channels, managed roles enabled in the server. Uh, so if you go to like here, and I guess if you go to settings, uh, Okay, so probably it's better to do on desktop and then you can just uh, do that. You can also modify the topic. So as a stage moderator, you can move yourself from speaker to audience. Um, sorry. Um, you can uh, disconnect members. You can move members from speakers to audience. You can move members from uh, uh, audience to speakers, you can enable or disable requests to speak. And you can, yeah, you can move a speaker to the audience, all, all of that. So you can just read all of that in the in Discord support section. And uh, this feature is available on all versions on desktop, browser, iOS, and Android. Uh, there are no limit of speakers. Currently, there is a hard cap of 1,000 users participating in a stage channel. Uh, you can't do video screen share, so it's audio only. Uh, you can have multiple stage, active uh, stage channel events at the same time. And there is no special limit for the amount of stage channels you can have in one server. So that's that. Uh, so hope this quick update on Discord stage servers was uh, insightful. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, so you can follow more videos about new exciting features from awesome apps. And also check out my website, mrhack.io. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick overview, make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, mrhack.io for more awesome overviews of different cool apps which make your life easier and happier. Also check out my podcast Mr. Hackio on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcasts. See you in the next videos.